Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then definitely welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. I'm super excited that we are on day five, five of our awesome daily Devo that we are doing the 100 days to brave, remember? So today's is one of those where it seems really simple but not so much, okay? So we're gonna jump in, we're gonna pray real quick, and then we will dive right into what today's lesson is all about. Heavenly Father, Lord, I just come to you and I just take a deep breath. It is the end of the week, it is day five, and I'm just so thankful that we're at this point. And Lord, just that I know you're here, I know you're gonna be in the study, and I just pray it blesses each and every person who is watching this, and just know that they are loved, and deeply cared for by you. I just thank you so much, and it's in your precious name I pray. Amen. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and let's jump in. So, the Bible verse that she uses starts out in 1 Samuel 17, 37. That's it. One verse, very simple, short and sweet, and it says, Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. Go, and the Lord be with you. So, just to kind of give you a little back story as to where this is coming from. So this is right before David goes up against Goliath. So we have this huge army that has come down and Goliath is this big tall giant and he's standing there and the army is just like, mm -mm, not me, not happening. Uh-uh, no. I don't know about y'all, but I do that a lot, a lot. When I feel like I'm supposed to go do something, I'm like, mm-mm, no. So, anybody else? Just me? Okay. Um, but seriously, and then in walks David, just this, you know, random guy, not random guy, but the guy that the Lord has said eventually will be king, but he comes in, you know, just this normal, tall, dark, and handsome, I have to imagine, guy. I mean, he's going to be a great king, but he comes in and he's like, I'll do it. I got this because he knows he got, he has the Lord with him. He knows that. And so he goes up. And so finally you've got Saul is putting his armor on David and all that kind of stuff. But Saul even says to David, go and the Lord be with you. And so that is something that just kind of sticks with me. And I don't think I've ever read that verse this way before. But it's just really cool because it says, you know, the hardest thing, the hardest part of doing anything. I mean, think of anything that you can go do. The hardest part of cleaning house the hardest part of doing the dishes, the hardest part of starting a new business, the hardest part of starting a new ministry, the hardest part of anything is starting. That random little two letter word with the green symbol that we had at the beginning, G-O, go, start, do it. Just like Nike, just do it. Um, Not affiliated, <laughs> you never know. Um, But yeah. It's so hard to start. And like what she says here, whether, you know, you're writing a book, you're training for a, you know, 5K, whatever other dream you may have, the hardest thing to do is just to start that journey towards that thing. Um, and so it's really simple what she said here. It says, the moment you take the first step, little seeds of courage begin to sprout in your heart. And so that is so true. And I, a lot of times tell, um, the testimony of where I got saved. And I'll do another video that talks about all of that. But needless to say, me and my husband had been a part of this church for many, many months, like maybe even a year or two. And we'd been going, we had actually helped to lead the youth at that time. This was before Christ actually for both of us. And it was during a revival and the pastor got up and preached. And it was just like, we were sitting in the pew with, me and him, this is before kids, his brother and sister-in-law at the time, or she may not have been, been a sister-in-law yet, but it was us all and we were just sitting there and the invitation time came and I, I, I remember like God took over because it was just that first, like in my mo my head, I was just like, I'm, I'm, I need to go do this. I'm not right. I do not have this all together. I have been playing a big old game. And so I took that step and it was like, after I took that first step, the rest of it was just kind of like, I don't really remember. It just, the Lord took over. God came all up in my life and saved my soul and hallelujah, amen. Okay? Um, but it's just, 
we have to start. We have to take that first step, whatever it is. When I was starting this channel, I'd had this channel for since like 2011, posting like family stuff to it, all private. Um, but when God really called me to do this, I was like, dude, I just called God dude. I did. Um, I was like, post every day? Really? Like, that's nuts. Who does that? No YouTuber out there I know post every single day. I've not seen one. There may be, but I have not seen one. And especially for a hundred days, a hundred flipping days. You really? But not one time did I feel like he backed down or said, mm, maybe I was wrong. God wouldn't do that. If you feel it and you truly 100% believe that God is calling you to do whatever or you're feeling led to do whatever or you have this dream to do whatever, go do that. Go. Just start. Just take that step and then let him take over because that's really what the true meaning of faith is all about. And right now, my biggest thing is faith over fear. And... I'm not going to lie to you guys. There are times that my faith is like, whew, it is roller coaster worthy. I mean, it is crazy. We're going to Silver Dollar City in a few weeks and we'll be riding those roller coasters and that I can like picture my faith because there's so many times that fear grips me like hard. And I'll just tell myself right now, this is like the third time I've started this video because not really that fear gripped me. But then again, I guess it was the fear of not being perfect, which I'm not perfect. Nobody is. The fear of no nobody watching this. Doesn't matter. God called me to do it. He'll take care of the rest. It may be 10 years from now before somebody goes back and watches every 100 days. But God called me to do this, and that's why I'm doing it. And I pray just a little bitty ounce that somebody out there will get something out of this and that God will mo it will motivate you and God will work through it to allow you to do something that's scary and to be brave and to just start and so I don't know what it is I don't know what it is that you are going to have to take faith that right now you have this fear whatever it is you have this fear and you've got to take it and you've got to put faith on top of that fear and just let it take over just let faith take over because I can 100% guarantee you that if you do that and you fully wholeheartedly trust in it you're unstoppable because you've got God leading the way and that is just something that you cannot <laughs> deny you can't deny it and when you feel it you just know you know that you know that you know and so that's where she goes on here and she lists all kinds of stuff and I'm just going to read them. So this is quoted from the book. It says, you just have to start my friend. That thing that's whispering on your insides. Y'all feel that? Y'all feel that? You know, that queasy feeling like, oh, I think I'm going to be nauseous. I'm sick. It says, maybe for you, it's writing a note, singing a song, making a phone call, having a conversation, composing a story, writing a check, booking that trip, Sending an email, going on that date, reading a book, signing up for something, or pressing play on that video. Whatever it is. She's like, I'm trying to list as many options as possible, but you know the thing God is doing in your life better than any of us do. That was me. It's time to get quiet before the Lord and ask Him what it looks like for you to live a life of courage today. Just start. So what is it? What's your one thing? What is your one thing that you just need that courage for and that you just know God is calling you to? Whatever it is, just start. And her be, her be Brave call to action is just for you to do that. What does it look like for you to take a step of courage today that will help you start? For me, it was press and play. It was press and play on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It'll be tomorrow. It'll be Sunday no matter what tomorrow is my son's 13th birthday we have got a day full of stuff going on but no matter what I'm gonna make sure and press play so I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening it is Friday night football time here in our in Arkansas um so we are about to get ready and head out to our local hometown football game um and cheer on the Titans <laughs> pray they win <laughs> um 
So yeah, we're about to head to do that. Y'all have a wonderful uh, Friday evening and I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. Again, I should have done this at the beginning and I forgot, but go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And then also, if you don't mind, click that little bell that's down there, ding, ding. And that will notify you anytime that I'm going to do a new or post a new video or go live. I'm hoping to check in with that maybe. Um, I do have some subscription boxes coming in here in the next week or so. Um, so they're going to be some s different videos that will have those in there. That should be fun. I'm kind of excited. I've got some ones that I'm looking into that are like Christian subscription boxes. So encouraging and uplifting and inspirational. So I'm excited about those. If you know of some, um, I will tell you I've got the up box coming in and I've got, I did do Ipsy again. I just kind of wanted to check it out. Um, I don't know how, if I'll keep that one. It's just the same as makeup. I'm not a huge makeup person, but it's always fun. I like to play in it. Um, up box is like inspirational stuff. And then I'm looking into a few more. I haven't ordered those, but if y'all have any ideas, drop them below. I'd love to see what y'all have to say, or if you've got any like discount codes, anything like that. I'm all about saving some money. Um, so yeah, those things are coming up and then... I may have a video about tomorrow evening and I'll just leave it at that because I'm not sure who watches. Anyways, y'all have a wonderful Friday evening and go Titans and go Hogs tomorrow. I hope it may not be a good thing, but again, subscribe, click the little bell, give me a thumbs up and definitely check me out on Instagram. I'm over on Instagram as well. Maybe having some giveaways coming up in the next week or so too. So that will be a pretty awesome giveaway. Everybody likes free stuff, right? I know I do. All right. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Bye.